Let's go back to about 200 BC to around the Qing Dynasty, by which time Han Fu was well established. Designs at the time were based on three key principles. It should have a top and bottom. The bottom can be pants or full length skirt, and the top and bottom meet around waist. Those rules would also be prominent during the subsequent and long lasting Han Dynasty, around the turn of the millennium. However, Sharp cutting edges at the bottom of the top was the signature of the time. As for the ladies, while the design of the skirt is quite effeminate, the top is more about strength and power. During the Wei and Jing dynasties, the robe look lost its momentum. It began to put more emphasis on a finished look with a division of upper and lower body from the waist, especially by using a belt. By the Sui and Tang dynasties, the three principles are still there, but some new ones have been added. For instance, a long gown is a new norm. The guys have an iconic style now, and a new element has been added, a hat piece. As for the girls, the dress wraps around and begins from the chest. The design wants to create a new look that transforms the body ratio. Accessorizing with some silver and gold embellishments, it creates a cheerful and luxurious look. The Song Dynasty innovates based on these four principles. And under these different principles, different styles are born. Moving into the Ming Dynasty, from the 14th to the 16th centuries, we see a mood to mix and match. A typical combo is a short top with a mamian skirt, but it's all very open and easygoing. People are encouraged to experiment a long top can also go with a skirt, for instance. A major change is on the color, however. While keeping the crossover, round, and symmetric color, the width of the color dips. It can almost wrap around the entire neck. Han Fu gradually went out of fashion during the Qing Dynasty, and it was largely replaced in the early 20th century. <laughs>